Okay, now we're going to do 4.2, um, number 3. So we're going to go to New, Standard IPT, Create. Here you start 2D sketch, click the XY plane. I'm going to go ahead and draw this image here, this L, and then I'm going to extrude it back that way. I'm going to pan down a little bit, start my line tool, start at the origin, come up 90 degrees, and type 2.5. This is the line right here, starting upwards. So scroll with my mouse wheel, pan down by pushing my mouse wheel down and rolling over. Come over the next dimension is one inch. Hit one, hit enter. I'm going to come down. If this is two and a half inches and this is one inch thick, that makes this line right here an inch and a half. So come down 1.5 inches. If this is 3.5 and that's one inch, that makes this line two and a half inches. 2.5 inches. You know, this line downwards is one inch. Go back to the origin part. Right click OK because I'm still in the line tool. Finish my sketch. Go home because it's off my screen. And I'm going to extrude. Select that area. And I'm going to extrude half an inch, one and a half, and half an inch, so 2.5 inches. Type in 2.5, hit enter. Now I'm going to do this cut right here. So I'm going to select that face and I'm going to hit start to the new sketch. I'm going to pan by pushing in my mouse roller. Uh, it's 1.5 inches by half an inch. So I'm going to make a rectangle. And it's going to be 1.5 wide and 0.5 high. So we have that. Looks like it's one inch off this top surface. So we go to the dimension tool, take that top surface, click up here. We're going to go in one inch. Uh, that's probably a bad place to put it, but we'll go ahead and put it there anyways. One. Yeah, I can move it. So we have our one inch. It puts it right in the middle of those two things. And now I want to square it up with the front surface here. So I'm actually going to come back to my collinear constraints. I'm going to select the front surface on that. I'm going to select this front line. It's going to move right into position. I'm going to right click because it's still in constraints. Click OK. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to extrude that part. Remember, extrude can be additive or subtractive. I'm going to select that surface. Once again, if you have that little red arrow, it means it's looking for what profile. Click right there, but I want it to cut. And I'm going to come and do a cut through all. So it's going to cut all the way through the part, regardless of how we make changes. Hit OK. Pull here my rotate tool, rotate around so I can get this other face. Right click OK to get out of it. I'll select that front surface. Start 2D sketch. I'm going to draw this portion here. So it's one and a half inches by half inch wide. Rectangle 1.5, tab 0.5, enter. So we have that. Right click OK to get out of the rectangle tool. Dimension. I need to dimension that half an inch off the side. So from here to there, 0.5. Type in 0.5, hit enter, it'll move. Now we're going to go back to the collinear constraints. Select that surface. Select this surface. It's going to line everything up for us perfectly. Finish our sketch. Extrude. Once again, red arrow. As for profile, we're going to click this face. We're going to go through all. Click OK. And we have our part. File, save as, 4.2-3. Thank you.